We've got birds chirping, we've got cicadas buzzing, we've got the rain pouring. It's just a really a magical moment. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello. My name is Carrie Rad, and um, this is the first time I have come to you guys here from a bathtub, but it feels very right because I am a bath creature. <laughs> I love being in a good bath, so it feels kind of second nature to be in here. I do have a bandeau top on though, so we're not getting too crazy over here. Just in this bath thinking, hi, I just am so inspired by the beauty of this right now. I need to capture this moment and chat with you guys. If you have been to my channel before, thank you for coming back, welcome back. Yeah, I just wanted to catch up with you guys. We have been in Topa area for the last week or so and we're starting now to like venture out and check out different areas of New Zealand. Right now we're in Mangasai. It's so beautiful here. And I shared on my Instagram what we got up to yesterday, and I'll talk about that in this video. A friend of mine actually serendipitously lives in New Zealand as well. We went to high school together. She ended up meeting a Kiwi in college, married him, and has lived in New Zealand for 13 years, and she has four beautiful girls. And so Autumn's husband, Richard, is a beekeeper for Marchwood Apiaries, and we got to spend the day learning about beekeeping, spending the day up close and personal with how bees exist, how they create honey, everything about them was so special to us. And I think one of the reasons why it was so special, we really came to understand how important bees are when we started our vegetable garden. Something I've come to realize, and I get why, because I actually didn't know this either before I started growing food, growing veggies in our backyard. A lot of people don't realize that vegetables start off as flowers. Pretty much any vegetable that you can think of, tomatoes, eggplant, jalapenos, like anything you can think of, most vegetables start off as flowers. The majority of people I don't think realize how important bees are to food. It's just really cool and important and wonderful to see how they are thriving here in New Zealand and we have concerns in America and other parts of the world where like we're not we don't have enough bees and and how important they are to making more vegetables so for instance like on my like small scale of growing food just realizing okay like I need more bees here because bees pollinate these flowers and then create more flowers to create more vegetables. Realizing how important they are when doing that, it was just so cool to experience them so close up and just how they create honey and just like how their inner workings are and just how important the, the females are within the bee community or there's a better word for that for sure, but I'm not an expert of course. They're fascinating. So Alex created a video that he's going to be putting on his YouTube channel of the ins and outs of the day. So if you want to learn more about that, if the video is not up by the time this video goes up, I'll go and link it later, but definitely go and subscribe to his channel so that you don't miss that video. Right now, we're in the process of figuring out where home's gonna be, going to different towns and just seeing what feels right to us. And honestly, coming here, we were like, oh wow, like we could really, ourselves here specifically because of many different things like the weather is really nice the uh, winters are more mild here and being um, Southern Californians <laughs> good warm weather is kind of in our blood so um, that's always nice to have a milder winter and the temperature here in Mangafai I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, is a lot like Hawaii for those of you from America who have, or anywhere in the world who have spent time in Hawaii, it's very similar to that. It's slow, but it's cool, and it's like, and that's kind of what we're looking for is just like a slower pace, but um, connected with nature, and so we're going to be exploring more. We actually, I'm so excited, you guys. 
we're picking up Lanka on Friday. So today is Wednesday. So we have essentially one more day, like a, a day and a half before we get to go pick them up. Tomorrow morning we drive back to Auckland. We stay one night in Auckland. And in the morning, we drive 30 minutes or so outside of Auckland to go pick Wonka up. He gets to be released at 11 a.m. You guys, that's so exciting. I don't know if it's the coffee or if it's the flat white or if it's the water I drank or the fact that we've been in the car for like an hour and a half or if it's seriously the fact that I'm just so excited to see Wonka but I feel like I'm gonna pee myself and I think it's a <laughs> combination of all of those things. <laughs> don't pee yourself, you can make it. Oh my god, he's smiling so big. Yeah, you're happy boy, huh? Oh. The best part about it all is that New Zealand can really start feeling like home now. Moving to another country, you obviously don't feel like you're home because everything is quite different. And especially when you don't have your dog with you, um, because then you just kind of just feel like you are traveling. Once Lanka arrived, it felt a lot more like grounding and it just filled me up in a different way and it just feels so good to have him here safe i was so worried it was such a freaking process Dan, go ahead good boy okay I'm just gonna chill next to me as i film this for you guys my hair has been so crazy lately, just so frizzy up here. Before moving to New Zealand, I got rid of, pretty much donated all of my curling iron and my straightener and everything that I had, you know, even just like hair oils and all that kind of stuff. In the two weeks of managed isolation, I only used the hotel shampoo and conditioner. And I don't know what it is lately, but I just like can't be bothered to do anything with my hair. I've just been using a random shampoo and conditioner that I bought at the grocery store. And I just have, I don't know, no motivation to do my hair lately. I did cut my bangs as you guys have seen um, randomly one day, but I've just been kind of letting it flow and I'm, I'm fine with it. It's just so, Hi, kisses. I have mosquito bites, guys, like all over my ankles, <laughs> like so intensely. And then I also have like, I saw some on my arm today. I have some on my hips, like mosquitoes are killing me out here so badly. I'm just constantly itching my ankles. I think they're getting through the window in our bedroom and then just like attacking me at night. Mosquitoes specifically like 
love me i looked this up because i was like do they like a specific blood blood type and they actually do so pretty sure i'm that blood type getting used to the calendar difference here has been a hard part of the process because i haven't really experienced any jet lag really because like an entire day different isn't that weird because it's essentially an entire day ahead of los angeles but three hours earlier and so it's really just a general confusion about what day it is <laughs> another hard part of this process has been just thinking about my garden back home in los angeles again like i'm so happy that somebody else is able to take on what we've built and kind of um benefit from what we've grown and plant their own stuff and take care of um, the garden. That being said, I missed it a lot and I miss it. We went ahead and found some trashed wood on the side of the house and we recycled it and made a mini veggie garden. So we've been working on that and that has been making me really happy. And I'm going to share a video with you guys of how we created that garden. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. We've also been making jam. We did homemade jam for the first time. We did a plum jam and a blackberry plum jam. And we've been forging wild blackberries, which has been so fun. Alex is obsessed with for forging blackberries. Like wherever we go, he's like, oh, there are blackberries here. And he'll like go and forge it. And I just love that he loves it so much. Creating jam was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. You always think something's gonna be so much harder, at least how I feel about it is I always think it's gonna be so much harder than it actually is. And then by the end of it, I'm like, actually that was really easy and it's, so satisfying creating something yourself homemade from your own hands that you can enjoy and that's how we feel about the jam and we made like seven different containers of it so we're just going to gift it to people when they're here right now we have one of our friend's brother who's here on a work visa in new zealand staying with us so alex and him are on a hike right now and I decided to stay back so that I could get this video ready for you guys. And I wanted to just shoot this last bit to just um, update with you guys because the last clips that you saw were when we were in Mangafai and it was such a lovely time, but we've been here in Topa for a bit and then we're setting back off again to explore New Zealand and like I said, find where we want to settle. And I'm gonna talk with you guys a lot about the feelings, the process, um, I'm going to share with you guys as we look around for a place to live. It's really giving me butterflies when I start thinking about that because now that Lanka is here and we have a car and we're going out to go see and find our home, you start realizing that everything's becoming so real and it just, I don't know, every feeling comes up. Excitement but so nerve wracking. I just feel, I feel like we're living right now and that feels really special. And you know, living and, and taking chances and I love you guys and I hope that you are all well. And I know that the world is still weird and there's still a global pandemic going on. And um, any of you that live in Texas with these crazy snowstorms, I've been thinking about Texas so much the last couple of days and um, just other parts of the world as well that have been experiencing like the outages and, and things even much more severe than that. And I'm sending my love out to all of you in just all over the world. Um, Cause there's a lot that anybody could be going through at any moment and the world can be a scary, crazy place and we all just have to take it day by day. And we have to stay aware and um, in the know of what's happening, but we also have to give ourselves some grace to um, experience moments of happiness and, and um, realize that we deserve that. We deserve happiness and we deserve relaxation and breathing in and out and um, just taking everything day by day. Anyways, I uh, can 
continue on rambling and being a corny, corny carry because uh, that is what I am. I'm, I'm a bit corny. Um, but if you are subscribed to my channel, you already know that. I appreciate you and I'm so grateful for you and I'm so happy you're all on this journey with me and I'm excited to share more and I wanna share with you guys all of it, the ins and outs of it, the good, the bad, the hard, because like I said, there are so many different emotions that I'm experiencing and it's not all rainbows and butterflies. There are fears, there are anxieties to it and I'm working through them all and it's it's a process, but that that's life and living. You're not really living if you're not feeling things. And so I hope you're all living um, and I know you all are and I hope you're getting yourself outside and connecting with nature whenever you can. And I'm not trying to preach at all. I'm just giving you guys insight into just kind of how I'm feeling and what I'm hoping for you. And yeah, so I love you guys and I'm going to go now, but I will see you guys very soon in a new video.